Yeah, Slavic Sac, which stands for Slavic Sacramento, which was founded 2014 in Sacramento. Then we moved to, I mean, our services spread throughout the whole uh, California and East Co West Coast. We had a lot of misunderstanding in the midst of our community itself, mm -hmm. because our community is very close as many other refugee communities. We had no funds, no supporting, no orientation, no experts, no lawyer, media lawyers, and we really needed crucial expertise, advice from uh, people who went through this path before us. So that's why we found Ethnic Media Services and Julian personally and Sandy, uh, who gave us tremendous support, in legal battles in the courts of California, uh, with defamation um, lawsuit, for example, uh, any other services like informational services and so forth. That's why they invited us here to Sacramento because Sacramento is my hometown, and that's why I'm here. Most uh, breaking point was actually being uh, like an icebreaker in the midst of Slavic community in California because before that we were the one of the popular uh, Slavic, Russian-speaking, Ukrainian uh, news digital portal. It's not a newspaper. Uh, it's a digital in California. So a lot of people use us now. In today's days we have 150,000 followers on social media. But uh, bef like 10 years ago it was like an icebreaker. Nobody before done such thing. Um, and nobody... Uh, try to. My intention was to first serve Slavic community with um, um, available information about social services, about police, about uh, society. I mean, trying to integrate our community into local American and other communities. And like I said, our community is um, kind of conservative in this regard. It tries to keep in in the midst of themselves. So Slavic Sacramento's idea was to adapt our community into local society uh, to work, collaborate with other communities around. And that was the main, bigger, major point of Slack Sacramento. Really exciting about next year for Slack Sacramento because we got a grant from um, Office of uh, Governor Newsom and UC Berkeley. We're working closely to UC Berkeley and State Library. Uh, that supports uh, Slavic Sacramento in its informational services and that's going to be tremendous those two years, I guess, next two years because uh, we are spreading uh, we are spreading throughout the Southern California mostly we've been Sacramento area San Francisco, but now we're spreading more to LA San Diego to cover Southern California so basically it's like Sacramento going to be all over the state of California, this is really, I'm really excited we're getting another internship person who, who's going to be fellow at uh, UC Berkeley uh, School of Journalism uh, and I'm really glad to see how our services really serves the people of state of California. I just want to say thanks to uh, state of California, people of the state of California, thanks to Governor Newsom, thanks to um, high school, I mean, uh, UC Berkeley, for example, um, universities of California, because those brilliant people, at the, some, at the point we needed most of those people, they came to us, they supported us in a tremendous way. And I just really want to. Uh, I feel this gratitude to, to the state of California and its mind to help ethnic media and ethnic communities across the state.